everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swishing and Reviewing the SPY. This is the uh, S&P ETF, the SPY. And I like looking at this because it really gives a indi good indication of where the market's going. We haven't made new highs yet this year, but institutional buying is coming in now into the market and moving it up. So this was a long today and it worked. And, and it really had a smooth rally once it dropped off of the lows. It was a steady, steady, steady rally. Pretty much from the low in here, which was set, I think it was 10.30, 10.45, and rallied really into the close. So market is holding strong, gapped up today. Not a big gap up, but enough, enough that it held, okay? And I thought, it's funny, because I thought the Qs were going to hold today. I mean, they did hold, but I thought they would hold better than this. Anyways, this was a nice long today, if you did it. It had a move. It wasn't quite a dollar. Almost tried Try to get over 286, couldn't do it. But one of the reasons I want to look at this here is just because this is a great example of everything that I do. I'm always looking for gaps. I'm always looking for institutional moves, whether it's institutional buying or selling. That is really the only way to consistently make money day trading in the market or, or doing swing trading, option trading, anything. You're, you have to look for what is being bought and sold by institutions. And I see that technically, technically in the chart, in the price action, in the gap. And it's something that I'm very good at doing. Now, for those of you that don't know what institutional money is, I'm going to read you this definition. I just clipped it off of Wikipedia. An institutional investor is an entity which pulls money to purchase securities, real estate, property, and other investment assets or originate loans. Institutional investors include banks, insurance companies, pensions, hedge funds, real estate trusts, okay, and investment advisors, endowments, and mutual funds. So basically, when you are looking for a position in a stock or in the market, you, you do not want to be against this, okay? Like, for example, if you were long, I'm going to go all the way back here just to give you an example because it's really going to show you. If you went long in here, Okay, this is a 50 period moving average at green line. If you went long in here around this period, okay, early February, on the moving average here, it is support. This was support. It was support. Or even the day before, this is the blue line, so 20 period moving average. You, you got clobbered, okay? Market fell and sold off hard. And we struggled for the better part of eight months of this calendar year, all right? Getting into the beginning here of September in a couple of weeks, we pretty much dropped off for eight solid months here, struggling to move higher. Institutions were not buying the market back up again. So that's why we've been in this range and stuck in this range again for most of the year. But institutional money is coming in now and buying the market up again. All right, it doesn't mean we're never gonna have a red day again. It doesn't mean we're never gonna gap down again either. It doesn't mean there aren't gonna be some days where you could day trade the market short. But what I'm saying is if you wanna be consistent with your trade decisions for going long or short if you're looking at institutional moves you have a higher odds of profit that is what i do when i see it technically in the gap okay so it's very very important when you are looking to train to go with this money because if you go with it it's so easy to make money and if you're against it you're going to struggle to win if you'd like more information on what i do and want to learn how to read institutional moves and read institutional money you can take my Golden Gap course. That is where you will learn it, how to see it. It's a skill set, and it's in the charts. It's not based on fundamentals, although there are very often fundamental reasons for why things occur, why, why these institutions are taking positions on or off, but it's really in the charts, and I see it in the gap, so you don't have to read the other stuff. My next class is August 25th and 26th. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.